Hi everyone, Marika here with another card tutorial and today I'm doing mini hellos. I'm doing these two by three and a quarter square cards based on those backgrounds that I did in my comparison video. So I started off making some sentiments and I digged out all of my smaller uh, sentiments there is a love from Simon's stamp, a hi and a hello from my favorite things. And also that squirrely little hello is actually from Hero Arts. So I did a whole bunch of these. I um, die cut them with my big shot onto some soft navy and some smoke gray cardstock. I'm putting them all into a little bowl so I have them kind of collected. I have several of these bowls and I used a whole bunch of them for these cards to collect all of the little things. So for the uh, kind of images, because you have to have Copic colored images on my cards, that's just how it works. Um, I'm using these lawn fawn stamps. There are two stamp sets, the Gnome Sweet Gnome and the Lovable Legends. I'm using my Mini Misty because I am going to stamp five sheets of these. Um, onto the Make It Crafty blending cardstock because that is awesome with my Copics but you can use any Copic friendly papers like the Nina as I use for my card bases um, or th there's a whole bunch out there the Expressit Copic paper but I really love the Make It Crafty so that is my choice. I'm stamping it in the Momento Tuxedo Black because it is a Copic friendly ink and it's been with me for a long time. This is actually a brand new uh, pad because mine was running out. And then I am going to color in. I'm just going to show you coloring in one of these sheets. It would be boring to see all of them being colored in with the same uh, sort of markers. I had uh, this whole video or this whole coloring ended up being me having to switch out markers in my combination because my pens were running out. I think the only marker combination that didn't run out was this red one that or peachy pink one that I'm using both for the Kraken and for my Flamingo. I actually googled a Flamingo and picked colors from that because I wanted it to not be the bright pink that you usually see with Flamingos. And I really actually like this uh, color combinations but uh, it's one of those that is a little bit harder to blend. Um, however, it, it kind of sing, seeps in a little bit into the paper and then blends itself a little bit. Um, but there is easier combinations to blend than this one. And I also am doing a whole bunch of dotting details uh, on both the Kraken and onto my uh, the cute little Nessie because it kind of elevates it a little bit, these little characters. Um, it's hard to have bigger color combinations for them because they're so small, but adding these like dotting details kind of add um, a couple of layers of color that I, I really like. So here's the first pen that is running out of ink, the B41. So this first kind of round of blending isn't super good. Um, I'm using the B97 for the darkest, the B52 for a little bit of a greenish undertone. I really wanted to have a little bit of a greenish undertone to it. And then the B41. I end up switching the B41 for my B21 because I don't have a refill for my B41 because I've forgotten to buy one. I have to do this hopefully this week. We'll see. And then I'm going in with the darker colors, the B97 and the B52, uh, to do the dotting detail on Lil Nessie. I kind of like, like dotting details. It, it gives gives it texture, that is what it does, it gives it texture. I'm using the same blues and the same reds on the little birdies to kind of get them tied in with the rest of the color combination. So for my little uh, Yeti here, I'm gonna use a E40 combination. I'm just using the E40s from E40 to E49. E49 I only use on the nose. However, my E41 ran out and my E43 ran out. I do have refills for both of them, so it wasn't a problem. Uh, however, my E47 is all sticky. Uh, and I think it is because I washed the nib 
or I, I actually used wa washing this specific pen with the isopropanol. There was before I knew that you weren't supposed to do that. And that pen just keep on being sticky, whether I switch out the nib or anything. So I think I am going to try to uh, buy a new E47 and let the old one go to the gods or something. But yeah. For some finishing details of these coloring, I'm using doing some dotting detail with my white gel pen. This is the Sakura white gel pen. Uh, I lost the cap to my um, my Uniball one, so I have to buy a new one. You see, I haven't been doing this for a long time and realized that I just left things that it was when I started it again. Oh. So yeah, I'm using some black yell pen. I actually filled out his nose. I didn't do that on the other characters. I just realized that I filled out his nose. Uh, on the other ones, I used to use the E47. So here are the card bases. They are, as I said, uh, two by three quarter squares. And then I just do a five and a half inch strip and score it in the middle to do the card base. I have all of the little images into my little blue um, plastic cups and then I use just a tape runner to uh, place down my watercolor cardstock pieces. So um, I end up when I put together the rest of the cards I actually end up uh, putting all of the watercolor cardstocks onto the card bases then I'm putting all of the uh, little sentiments on um, and then uh, the little characters so it's kind of an easy way to do it as I'm doing 20 of these cards. I'm using the quickie glue gun, uh, quickie glue pen to attach this down. I actually also use other glues later on, mainly because you have to push a little bit on this glue to make it kind of sit on the cardstock, um, which the other um, kind of liquid glues were a little bit easier to get it to stick. Um, but when it has dried, the quicker glue gun sticks really, really good. So it's, it's just the, the in-between before it has dried that is the issue. Then I'm using the Crafters Companion clear glitter pen uh, onto the letters. I'm doing that on all of the cards. I'm using some foam tape behind my little characters to get them a little bit of a pop-up. And that is how the cards are made. I'm actually showing you a second card here because I wanted to share a little tip when it comes to putting down sentiment. If you put you down your sentiment and it wants to move around, which does happen, especially with small details, um, I'm putting the glue directly on this, but you can actually put the glue onto your card base and then add the little detail afterwards. But I'm adding it down and you see, as soon as I I got glue on my fingers and it just jumps off. So what I do, I take my acrylic block and I just put it on top. And that actually helps it to have a little bit of weight on it so I can continue on with the rest of the card. And I have little Nessie and Nessie gets to be on foam squares like everyone else. She is paired with the high because it was the smallest one of them. And she kind of overtook all of the other sentiments. I'm adding a little bit of glitter pen on the sentiment and then finishing off with the cute little ship that makes N Nessie look really, really, really big. And then I just put together all of the other cards. And here are all of the cards. And if you want to win one of these cards from these cards, uh, you can do that. And there are actually four different ways of entering. So you can either, or you can actually enter all the four different ways and have a chance to get one of each of these cards. So you can get one by comment down on this video. You can get one by comment over on my blog, which is linked in the description. You can get one by comment on my Instagram, which also linked in the description and on my blog. And the fourth way is to go over and comment on my Facebook page, which again is linked in the description and over on my blog. So I hope you really liked this video and the kind of take on trying the medias out on different cardstocks. I want to say thank you so much for watching and thank you for all your comments, your likes, your subscribes. It's 
It warms my heart a lot and it makes me very, very happy to see you interact. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!